Can you feel it, folks? The reunion with Zelda is fast approaching. Welcome one and all to part 56 of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword and the second season finale. First and foremost, let's blast the sucker and get her up and running. No surprise, our enhanced sword is more than capable of doing the job. And I always found this to be rather interesting. As it is right now, the gate of time is nothing more than a slab of cold stone, but with the energy of our newly enhanced Skyward Strike, the pieces come out as what looks to be Tetrominoes. You know, the pieces that fall in a game of Tetris. And this is just so cool. Take a look and enjoy. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this screams awesome. At the end result, the pieces recombine as a cogwheel, much like the original Gate of Time we saw in the neighbor desert. And two other cogwheels come out of nowhere, and they'll spin it. And here come the symbols, one for each province. Faron, Veneru and Elden. Either that or they represent the original gods themselves. Oh. Do not fear it. This is what we have waited for. At long last, the gate has been reactivated. Mm. Standing before you is a path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past, the very place where Zelda now waits. Go bravely, Link. If everything is as I suspect, the reunion with Zelda you fought so hard for lies beyond this gate. But wait. What about Groose? Eh? Nah, don't worry about me. I'm gonna hang back here, Link. That stupid monster doesn't know when to quit. And Granny keeps yapping up on and on about how we never know when it might bust for your grin. Someone's gotta stick around and guard the place. <laughs> might as well be me. Besides, if I'm not here, who's gonna look out for the old girl? And you know what? <laughs> nah. Forget about it. Hmm. Interesting. You would think that Bruce would jump at the chest to see Zelda, but... This is quite unexpected. When you see Zelda, tell her I said what's up. Sure thing, Bruce. You got it. But still, you gotta wonder. Aside from all that he said about defending the place from the monster... There's got to be more to it than that. But then again, no real sense of reading too much into it. All we know is, it's time to activate the sucker and go to where Zelda is. This is what we fought so hard for, and I'm looking forward to this reunion. This always looked so cool whenever I played it, especially when it first came out. And there he goes like a bat out of hell. Okay. So we're in the Temple of Hylia. And look who it is. It's our old running mate, Impa. Hey! At last. I've been expecting you, Link. You are doubtless overwhelmed, so I will explain things as simply as I can. This is the Temple of Hylia, though it will come to be known as the Seal Temple sometime in the future. You stand in the past, ages before your own time. Here, the goddess Hylia has only just sealed away Demise. And little time has passed since the goddess sent the outcropping of rock into the sky that would one day become known as Skyloft. It is true to its name, 
You have passed through the gate of time to an era in the distant past. You will have many questions, but for now, you must proceed through the great doors behind you. It is there that the person you risked life and blood to defend waits for you. Alright, let's go see our girlfriend. Well, I say that, but obviously she's just a friend. <laughs> yeah, right. There she is. You've come so far, Link. I'm glad you made it. I imagine Impa filled you in on everything. We've traveled very far from home, to the distant past. In this era, the wounds inflicted on the land during the battle between the goddess and the demon king known as Demise have not yet healed. All the fairy tales about the war we heard growing up in Skyloft, incredible as it may seem, they appear to be all too real. I think it's time you learn the whole story. Let me try to explain. The old gods created a supreme power that gave anyone who possessed it the ability to shape reality and fulfill any desire. They called it the Triforce. In his thirst to make the world his own, Demise readied a massive army of monsters for war. He sought to take the Triforce for himself by force. The goddess feared for her people. She used her power to send both them and the Triforce into the sky on a slice of earth she cut away from the land. This floating rock became the new home of our people. In time, it came to be known as Skyloft. After a long and fierce battle, the goddess Hylia succeeded in sealing away Demise. However, soon after the Demon King was imprisoned, it became clear that the seal would not hold long against his fearsome power. Hylia had suffered grave injuries in her battle with the Demon King. She knew that if he broke free again, there would be no stopping him. And if the Demon King were to free himself, it would mean the end of the world for all beings of this land. In order to put an end to the Demon King, Hylia devised two separate plans and set them both in motion. First, she created Fee. She made the spirit that resides in your sword to serve a single purpose, to assist her chosen hero on his mission. Her second plan was to abandon her divine form and transfer her soul to the body of a mortal. She made the sacrifice, as you likely guessed, so that the supreme power created by the old gods could one day be used. For while the supreme power of the Triforce was created by gods, all of its power can never be wielded by one. Knowing this power was her last and only hope, the goddess gave up her divine powers and her immortal form. You've probably figured it out by now, haven't you, Link? You are the chosen hero. And I, Zelda, I am the goddess reborn as a mortal. The day of the ceremony, Girahim's tornado tossed me out of the sky and down to the world below. I was nearly captured by the demonic forces, but I was rescued at the last moment by the old woman who lives in the sealed grounds. I had no memory at all of my existence as Hylia, but she explained it to me. She helped me to remember who I was and what I had to do. I set out to pray at the goddess statues located in each temple across the land. Each statue stirred up memories within me. After I visited them all, Impa, an agent of the goddess, led me here to the past. All of this is part of the same great effort to prevent the revival of demise. Stripped of his true physical form by the seal that binds him, he takes the shape of an abomination. But even in his hideous state, he's more than capable of devouring this land if we allow him to do what he desires. We must stop him from freeing himself from the seal that imprisons him at any cost. That is why I intend to remain here in this time and place, to sustain the seal as best as I can. As long as I continue this vigil, 
we may be able to prevent the Demon King from fully reviving himself in our own time. I must maintain the seal that Hylia, rather, that I created so long ago, and keep it strong for as long as I am able. With the memories of my former life returning to me, I can see now that this is my purpose. Link, the goddess created Fi, and the great blade she's a part of for very specific reasons. For the task of standing against Demise in his monstrous form, he now assumes, it rests solely on your shoulders. Back in our own time, you've already driven him back into the, his prison twice now. I can't thank you enough for that, Link. During your long journey, you've grown so much. You learned wisdom from solving devious puzzles and traps. You gained power by honing and tempering both yourself and your sword. And by overcoming the trial set before you by the goddess, you found true courage. Now that those qualities reside in you, you are worthy of wielding the supreme power the old gods left behind for our kind. You can claim the Triforce. Valiant hero, you have endured many hardships and journeyed far in your quest to reach this place. Along your travels, you have found wisdom, power, and courage. And for this, I shall bless your sword with the goddess's power. May it give you and your sword the strength to drive back the abomination that threatens this land. The mark you see upon the back of your hand is proof that you are the hero of legend and that within you dwells sacred power. It is the mark of the Triforce. Stand now, Link. Draw your sword. And now, the true Master Sword finally awakens. Ain't that a thing of beauty? The Goddess has blessed your blade and the Master Sword has at last achieved its ultimate form. The sword is now imbued with the mythical power to drive back demons, and only Link may wield it. Nice. Link, before I say another word, I feel like I owe you an apology. You see, the mark of the Triforce on your hand is a symbol of the greatest power in this world. If you can obtain the actual Triforce, we will have the power to vanquish Demise once and for all. The problem is, among the countless souls in this world, only a select few, those with an unbreakable spirit, can wield its might. It's impossible to know the true reason why the old gods created the Triforce, but I have a theory of my own. The gods created the Triforce, yet they specifically designed it so that their own kind could never use its power. Somehow, I think that may have been their way of giving hope to all the mortal beings of this land. Which brings us back to you. To face demise and give the land hope, the goddess Hylia needed someone with an unbreakable spirit. That someone is you, Link. But spirit alone wasn't enough. You had to overcome many trials and awaken the hero within yourself so that you could wield the supreme power. And so Hylia, I mean, and so I. I knew that if it meant saving Zelda, you would throw yourself headfirst into any danger without even a moment's doubt. I, I used you. I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for pulling you to all this, Link. But you have to understand, this is a war, and the fate of the land hangs in the balance. I need your strength to tip the scales in our favor. All that may be well-intentioned and true, but it doesn't mean it's right, and it doesn't excuse my actions. But I'm prepared to pay the price for what I've done. To ensure that the seal holds, I will remain here in this time, 
deep in sleep for thousands of years. Blink, I can't say it enough. I'm so sorry for the way I had to involve you in this. But until my memory of things before our lifetime returned to me, I had no idea we were fated to carry such a heavy destiny. Before all this, I was happy just spending my days hanging around with you in Skyloft. I wanted that feeling to last forever. And this is where things take a turn for the extremely heavy. While it's true that I am highly a reborn, I'm still my father's daughter and your friend. I'm still your Zelda. When Demise is finally gone, there will be no more need for this seal that binds him, and I'll then I'll be able to wake up. So I'm going to ask you a favor, sleepyhead. Ever since we were kids, I'd always be the one to wake you up when you slept in. But this time, when all this is over, will you come to wake me up? Zelda, we've been through so much together. You've said your piece, and even though it's heavy as you said, I can't deny your friendship. I promise. And so, our childhood friend is encased in amber and will remain in the past to strengthen the seal that keeps Demise hidden away. But man, we reunited with our best friend and just like that, the reunion is cut short, all in the name of destiny. It's sad, but it couldn't really be helped. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do here, so let's talk to Ippa one last time. I see you've said goodbye. Now you must keep the promise you made to her. You must find the Triforce. Return to your time. There is work to be done there. <laughs> do not fear for Zelda. I will watch over her here. Go now, and fulfill your destiny. I will, Ippa. Thanks again. And now, we're heading back to the Sealed Temple. Well, I will say, that was quite the roller coaster ride. Ah. So you've returned. Then you know everything. On the other side of that gate, Zelda waits, suspended in a sleep without end. But do not despair, for she is still alive and well. True to legend, the Triforce is the one thing with the power to vanquish demise. It is thought to have been hidden within Skyloft by the goddess. Sadly, that is all we know of where it rests. All other clues to its whereabouts have been lost to the ages. Link, you have literally come to the same conclusion, but I will spell it out just the same. The key to finding the Triforce must be in Skyloft. Mm. Go now, Link. Find the Triforce. Ew. Whoa, whoa there! Hold up! Link, there's something I gotta tell you. What's up, big guy? Eh. So, Zelda, how's she holding up? Was she okay when you saw her? Well, I gotta tell you the truth about that one. Well, that's terrible. It's gotta be so hard for the poor girl. But you're gonna do something about this mess, right? You bet. Link, 
I've made up my mind. I'm not going back. I'm staying right here with Granny. Aw, <laughs> oh, don't look so bummed out. Do I look sad? Nah, I'm doing what I want to do. I don't know how to explain it. I got this feeling in my belly that there's work to be do here. Someone's got to watch that big ugly monster, and someone's got to make sure Granny's doing all right. It ain't as action-packed as what you're doing, but maybe this is my destiny. Know what I mean? Besides, it's not so bad down here. Living up in the sky was okay, I guess. But don't you just love the way it smells down here? What? That's not weird to say. <laughs> Check it out. Zelda and Granny have brought life back to the land here. I bet even the weakest sapling could grow into one beast of a tree in soil like this. It'd brighten up the place a little too. <laughs> I mean, sure. It'd take a few years for it to grow, but as far as I'm concerned, I got nothing but time. <laughs> it's weird to say out loud, but that's just how I feel right now. So, yeah, you know. When you get back to Skyloft, do me a favor and let people know I'm doing okay down here. Colin and Stritch might get a little emotional since they look up to me, but you tell them I'm happy, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Link. And so, Season 2 of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword is at an end. Thank you very much for watching, and as usual, the series is going to be on a little bit of a break, but I've got some plans for some filler content in the next little while. What kind of content? The next video you see is going to be a little announcement video, and you'll know soon enough. So, until then, this is JP saying as always, see you cool cats on the flip side. <laughs>